everybody. I wanted to talk about something that uh, happened uh, yesterday. There was a German couple in the hostel with me, different room, and they were robbed. Somebody uh, came by on a motorbike and ripped the uh, ripped the bag out of her hand. Took off. You know, just basically a, a drive-by. And uh, she had it on her shoulder, and the guy took it and boogied. Now, right now I'm walking on a one-way street, but the other thing I try to do is I always try to walk against traffic for that reason. I like to see what's coming at me, so there's no surprises. See, so right now, there's, see this motorboat, motorbike coming? If he wanted to steal my bag, I'd see him coming. Right? I'd see him coming. There's nothing that's going to protect you 100% from crime. But the Colombians have a saying here. They call it papaya. And I didn't know what that meant till I went on the walking tour in uh, Medellin. And the woman says that the Colombians have a saying where they say, you know, don't give papaya, which means you don't give opportunity for somebody to steal from you or take something, because that's when somebody here will take it. Now, I think the attitude sucks, but it's not my country, it's not my culture, so it is important to understand it and to take precautions to protect yourself. So I have a backpack on both shoulders. Now in this type of humid weather what happens is your back gets soaked with sweat. So if I do wear it on one shoulder or sometimes what a backpack can do is it can swing around to the front. Right? You can swing it around to the front and wear it this way. You know you're in safe territory when you see guys walking around with basically uh, shotgun there to protect. This is where they got robbed. They said they were coming out of this mall and somebody came on a bike like this guy right along here. Grabbed it right out of her hand. And then he took a right here down into the barrio there. And if you are going to walk with traffic then you have the bag in your right hand, not your left hand. You keep it away from the street, so if somebody does come by, they can't rip it out. I haven't been in this mall yet. I'm going to go check it out on the way to the downtown. I saw this, uh, I saw this escalator up to the top. I was going to go up, but they have it closed down. Interesting. Yeah, I was reading recently that the mall business in uh, the United States is dying. I don't know if that's true or not because I don't go to malls. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to address is passport and wallet. You do not put those in your bag. So if somebody does take my bag for whatever reason, I do not lose. What I put in my bag is I put a raincoat, I put batteries, water, drinks, you're bringing snacks. You can put your camera in there, but realize that if you lose your can bag, you lose your camera. That woman, she lost uh, money, she lost her passport. Her passport was a biometrics passport, which cost a lot of money, number one, but number two, it took time to get. And they were supposed to travel the United States, and she was saying now she can't go to the US because she lost her passport. She also lost a camera, she lost uh, her iPhone, and who knows what else she lost that she doesn't remember. So you don't put something in a bag, it's just uh, anything essential. What I do is I have, I always wear cargo pants. And for example, these shorts right here, okay. You can see, they've got pockets. And it doesn't matter if it's Velcro, it doesn't matter if it's Velcro or if it's a, a, a snap. The whole point is 
is somebody's going to have to really work to get inside your pocket. So I typically have four pockets in the front, two on the leg, two up where normal pockets are. And in the ones that are Velcroed closed, I put on one side, I put my wallet with American money, my IDs, and my passports. And then on my other side, I put local money, so I'm not reaching into my regular ID on a regular basis unless I go to an ATM or I'm checking into a hotel. So your money and your passport, your ID, it's always on your body. Whenever I go anywhere, I have that with me. And the way I look at it is, let's say there's some sort of emergency and I'm out and about. I don't have to try to go back and retrieve my information at the hotel, it's on me. I can just leave my bag at the hotel if I have to. And you have to think of these worst case scenarios because you're in a, in a foreign country and you don't know anything here and you've got to be ready to move if you need to. That's just the way it is. So as far as the backpack, getting inside the main compartment, it's not going to be easy for anybody who wants to get inside. They've got to really try to get to the zipper and open it. And if it's a really crowded place where you like this, then I flip the backpack around to the front where I know nobody's going to reach in through the front if you're concerned about that. But it's just a, a tent, it's just realizing that when you go to a foreign country, you're a mark, 100%. You are viewed as a dollar sign. And whether they take the money legitimately or illegitimately, they're gonna get your money. And that's just the way it is. So you have to do what you have to do to protect yourself so that it doesn't make it. It's a great saying by the Colombians, don't give them papaya. You don't give them the opportunity to take your money. Unless you're trading it for food or something worthwhile. Okay? So, yeah, it's a little upsetting when you hear about these people getting robbed, but if that woman had just had, you know, a little sense to her, she wouldn't have gotten robbed. She wouldn't have given that opportunity. And I'm not going to bash her over the head because, you know, she's with her boyfriend or her husband and they're probably having a good time and, you know, you forget where you are. And if you think of all the various situations where people get hurt or killed, it's when they're not paying attention, when they forget where they are. In fact, the, the scene that came to my mind is from uh, All Quiet on the Western Front. This guy goes through the whole war on the German side. I mean, he's a hardened combat veteran. Everybody around him gets killed and he survives the whole war. And on the day, I think it was the day of the armistice, he was an artist, he enjoyed drawing. And it was a warm day, a spring day, I guess, and he was really excited because he saw a bird on this destroyed tree, and he was trying to draw it, and he just couldn't see it from inside the, uh, the trench. So he stuck his head up above the trench to get a better look at the bird, and he got shot right in the head and killed. And he forgot where he was. And like most of our problems in our lives, we are the responsibility for our, most of our own problems. And when you travel and you get robbed, you are responsible for probably 90% of the reasons why you got robbed. And you just have to uh, pay attention. And if you put yourself in situations where, I, I mean, I do it myself. La last night I walked from the center city back to my hotel. It's about a mile and a half walk. And it's through some local areas, we'll call them. Could something happen to me? Absolutely. And, uh, and I pay attention to that. And first sign of trouble, I, I run. <laughs> or I, or I, um, the police here are all dressed in like a lot, like a ambulance yellow, like a lime green. So I'm always looking for where they are. If I see them, I know I'm good. If I don't see them 
and it's dimly lit, then I know that I need to really boogie. So, uh, all right, so, all right, I don't want to ramble. I just wanted to cover those points. To summarize, you know, how you carry your possessions. I always keep them physically on me somehow. And for some, if somebody's going to try to take them from me, then obviously it's going to be a knock, you know, knock down, drag them out fight to get them away from me. You know, if I happen to have a bag in my hand and somebody comes by on a motorbike and takes it, well, I'm not going to catch that motorbike. So that's a stupid way to carry your stuff. And anything that I don't want to carry in my hands, I just throw in my backpack, whether it's drinks, a jacket, hooks, etc. Okay, have a great day. Peace. This is this is what the police look like. See the yellow helmet. They'll have that vest on. All right, so I'm walking back. It's a one-way street, so when I was coming this way, so make sure that you have your purse or your camera or your cell phone, whatever's in your hands, should be in my right hand right now, which it is. So if anybody's coming up on the left, they can't basically grab and run on their bike or coming along. Thank you.